Yeah, that's a. It literally thing. says, "Help me, please." Something yeah. here is asking for help. You have this weird necromancer cult that went by the name Ansara that actually used to practice in this building, and you've piled all of that under one roof, literally over a mineral spring. Can you whistle back to me? <gasps> oh, Ooh. right right when I whistled, the freaking music box started oh playing. God. So something here has recently manifested. Now I will say the craziest spot for me here is the dining room, which is where the Ansara cult used to dance naked and perform rituals. They were a necromancer cult, so they're trying to raise and communicate the dead. And they did those rituals inside of this room. Okay, so the location we're going to today holds a very special place for me. This is the first place I ever got to be a part of a formal investigation at. Now, we're about two hours east of Nashville, here in Tennessee, in Red Boiling Springs. Now, what makes this location crazy, especially to me, is they actually had a necromancer cult that was dancing around inside of what's now the dining room, and there's symbols all over the floor that have been covered up, and psychics have even said that this dining room serves as a portal. But these people were actually trying to contact the dead and scamming people, telling them that they could put them in direct contact with family members. So, not only do you have that, but there's been a ton of deaths inside of this facility. And it's one of the scariest places in Tennessee. But we are at the Thomas House Hotel in Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee, about two and a half hours east of Nashville. And I'm excited to see what we get tonight. I haven't been back here in probably about a year. Um, I used to come to this location all the time and with me traveling everywhere that I've been, I never actually made much content here. So this is the first video I've ever done inside of the Thomas House Hotel. But that pool, I don't know if you can see it, Savannah, right there. But if you look over there where all that overgrowth is, is yeah. actually the pool where one of the entities that people come in contact with here drowned. His name is Edwin Rush. So you've got the drownings, or drowning, you've got the deaths inside of the building, and you have this weird necromancer cult that went by the name Ansara that actually used to practice in this building. And you've piled all of that under one roof, literally over a mineral spring. So. If you believe that limestone and running water can serve as a conduit, this building literally has one that runs right underneath uh, this building here. So I'm excited to see what we get tonight, but let's go ahead and get the car unloaded and go inside the Thomas House Hotel. Okay, so we got everything unloaded and we are currently standing inside the entrance to the Thomas House Hotel. But this place is literally loaded with history between fires, death, cult rituals like this place has a little bit of it all and it started out as a hotel and then it's changed hands along the way so now a family owns it the Cole family um, they have owned it for the past like probably 35 40 years and uh, really good friends of mine thanks to them for having me out but this is the first place I ever investigated um, each room here has a different story and has different entities that people have come in contact with. Now, some of the most prominent spirits here are going to be as follows. You have Edwin Rush, the little boy that died in the pool. Uh, he drowned. You've also got Mr. Cloyd, who whistles. So this, this hotel has actually been on a few different TV series um, over the years. Portals to Hell ghost hunters um, a lot of people have come in here to try and speak with mr. Cloyd and the rest of the inhabitants here at the Thomas house hotel what was that hello anyway so they have a, a weird layout here um, but each floor has a different energy to it and a different feel to it. Now I will say the craziest spot for me here 
is the dining room, which is where the Ansarok cult used to dance naked and perform rituals. They were a necromancer cult, so they're trying to raise and communicate the dead. And they did those rituals inside of this room. So it looks like a nice little dining room. But let me tell you, underneath all of this flooring here are the symbols from this necromancer cult. It's rumored that they're still there today. Another thing to point out about the layout of this room. If you look, there are mirrors facing each other. See that mirror, 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 mirror. Which the lore goes that when you face mirrors against each other, you're creating these portals. Many psychics, including Chip Coffee, even, if I'm not mistaken, have been in here talking about portals being created. So this area can be very, very active. Now coming out of the dining room area, my second favorite location inside of this is what they call the seance room today. Now this would have actually been where the mineral spring runs through underneath. It still does to this day, but this is where they would cool the rest of the, the hotel with fans circulating this cold air in here. But I have gotten some insane activity inside of this seance room. And as you can see, when people come here and investigate, they leave offerings. We've got a Ouija here. You've got the Charlie Charlie. But what's weird is this place has been a part of a few different fires. Um, one main one, and I think they've had smaller ones, but the one main fire was weird. So if you look here, this mantelpiece has actually made it through the fire. And you can see where it bubbled up right here. But it's still standing. And they have a bunch of artifacts from different periods of time. They've got a Civil War cannonball, all of these antiques. So one of these items could have something attached to it as well. People have actually encountered a Civil War spirit in this room that they believe to be attached to one of the items in this container. Now I will say I've had some crazy experiences inside of this seance room and hopefully that remains consistent tonight. Okay, so we just came up the stairs. Say hello to Savannah. Hello. So Savannah is going to uh, join us on our little walk through here. The you got these themed rooms. Yes. New tea. But they've got these themed rooms. So this is the creepy ass Santa Claus room. <laughs> like, it's literally all Santa Claus. Let's see if I can get the camera in there where you guys can see all Santa. And then this is full of dolls as well. Like, just look in there. That's nightmare fuel. What the heck? <laughs> can you go in there? No, it's just like display. And then, if you go down this way, you've got the, I want to say it's Gone with the Wind Room. Gone with the Wind Room. Is it that one or this one? No, this is the Gone with the Wind Room. You'll see why. Just take a look at it. What the heck? I'm going to put the lens in there. So you've literally got all of these old items piled into this place. And then now we are entering the green hallway. Why do we call it the green hallway? It's, it's green. green and it's a hallway. <laughs> Creative. But this is the hallway that I've had some pretty crazy stuff happen. Um, I've seen a figure run at the end of this hallway before with my own eyes. Um, other groups have had a ball moving in the middle of this hallway. And this is also the notorious hallway that people hear the Whistler or Mr. Cloyd. So hopefully tonight we can have some of that whistle action. <laughs> uh, hearing the whistling. So hopefully we can hear some of the whistling from Mr. Cloyd in here tonight. But you got to think over the Dozens and dozens of years this place has been open. How many people have stayed in here? How many people have had fights in here? How many people have... Yeah. In here. <laughs> and you also combine that with some of the known things they've had happen. So 
Some people report actually hearing a couple argue on the balcony area, and there's a story that someone was pushed off of it and was killed. They sustained pretty significant injuries from that. Um, that's one of the stories here. Another story is here, um, or one of the things that people experience is in the middle of the night, they'll, they'll feel like a presence around them in their room. People have left this place in the middle of the night out of absolute fear. So, with that being said, me and Savannah are the only people in here to investigate. Now, the family does stay in a separate part of the hotel. They do live here, um, but they will not interfere with our investigation tonight. But let's just walk down here, and I'm going to show you one other aspect that makes this really creepy. There's so many mirrors in this place. So, I told you guys, this is like the first place I ever had an actual investigation. Um, I had been other places before, didn't have any equipment, was just like experiencing spooky spots. This is the first one I ever had equipment with. Now this right here, you see these curtains? Yeah. These are from a funeral home, which when you think about it, they look like funeral home curtains. But that's just another creepy layer that's added to the chip. What is that? Yeah, it's Funyuns. <laughs> um, but I had some really cool activity here the first time I came. That's when I used to use dowsing rods. I didn't have much. But we had REM pod activity and dowsing rods going off in here. And people see a figure moving from these back two rooms back to each other. So, that's something to keep an eye out for tonight. But also, more recently, um, David, one of the people that lives here, it's a part of the family that owns the place, actually saw a figure in the dining room two days ago. So this is something recently that has happened and there was another person in the dining room to confirm that with David, but they saw a figure exit out of the dining room and he thought it was one of the ladies that helps them take care of the place. Turns out one of the ladies is behind him in the kitchen and the other one is upstairs vacuuming still. So whoever he saw was not a person that was accounted for. Another individual saw the same thing and then one of the other little girls that lives here actually heard this entity walking by. So something here has recently manifested. But this place has so much history. It has so many reported hauntings. And then you add in the, the water spring underneath the building. There's Native American history right out front. You've got the deaths that have occurred on the property. And you still have the constant people coming in today to do what we're doing tonight in ghost hunting. So. This place is a gem. If you've never heard of it, Thomas House Hotel, Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee. I'm excited to kind of jump into the investigation and show you guys what this place is all about. It's never really ever let me down. So I'm hoping tonight doesn't let us down. But Savannah, what do you think? Well, the last time we were here, we had a chair thrown at us. So I'm a little bit scared. I've never done Estes here. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so you've never done Estes here. Mm -mm. And I didn't even mention the chair getting thrown. But if you guys are not familiar, um, and I don't have the live, this was one of the first lives I ever did on TikTok. I don't have the footage. But any of my OG folks that remember that night, please comment below. But I was actually mocking the cult that used to be here in the dining room area where they would perform their rituals. And I was like, see, nothing's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, I, I say the name of the cult three times as like a joke. And we have this fold-out chair literally move about six feet towards me. And I caught it on camera. We weren't moving. I wasn't jumping around. It was a crazy night. That's one of the only times I've ever had anything physically move. I just don't have the recording from the live. But any of my followers that remember that night, comment below. Because this is the place that we had that happen. So, there is something here with enough strength to make that happen. Now, on Portals to Hell, they had somebody come in and they believe there's an elemental here. I don't really know how much stock I have in that, but with the Native American history and a lot of the other layered history here, that could be a very real possibility, right? There's something here that is a lot stronger than your typical entity. And once I had that experience of the chair getting thrown, that kind of made a little bit more sense. So we don't necessarily know that everything that we deal here deal with here is a human entity, but we do have to take a little bit of caution with that in determining what is or isn't coming through on our equipment tonight. Okay, this is the white hallway. Now, you can see it used to be actually white, and then they have since painted it, so it's no longer a white color. 
But what's crazy is this is the hallway that a lot of people encounter the entity Sarah. Sarah's a little girl they believe to be a part of the Cloyd family that was here. What was that? What? Did you hear that humming? Or like that mmm? No. That's why I thought you stopped talking. I just heard that like in my left ear. Family that was here. Well, this is Sarah's hallway, but people have actually stayed in the rooms at the end of this hallway. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something creepy about this place. Um, so this is the room that people have a lot of interaction with Sarah in. I'm gonna peek in there. They've even got her toys in the corner. But we have found that she roams this entire place. She's not limited to, the, to just this room. So if you ever stay here and you're in 37, you may just have Sarah visit you in the middle of the night. But these two rooms down here, actually creep me out more than Sarah's room. Oh, I remember these rooms. So this is 41 and 42. I had good activity in both of these. But this damn picture here lives in my nightmares. Ooh. Ooh. So imagine you're on this bed asleep and you wake up. This is the bitch you see. <laughs> that drove me nuts about this. But people have had um, like hair dryers turn on that were plugged into the wall here. Lights flicker in here before, um, which could be electrical problems. But, I mean, what are the odds? Yeah. That more than one person has had that occurrence. Which again, if it is electrical, it could happen more than once. But when you hear some of the accounts that people tell about staying here, it seems a lot more real than just electrical problems. Yeah. A lot more possibilities of the paranormal being involved. This room is one that people have reported hearing people plotting a murder in. Now that they couldn't really find anything about that, but people were on the outside, the door was closed and they heard people planning a murder. They get the door open, there's no one inside. That's so creepy. It, it's almost like there's there's residual hauntings here, an intelligent haunting here, and maybe even some non-human entities in this building. But whatever was in this room was almost on that residual loop, so maybe there was an actual murder planned in this room. One other wrinkle to this place that has only recently come, come around, and this is hard because Miss Evelyn, who used to own the building, passed away not super long ago, and she used to love my cowboy hat, and she always called me cowboy. But the last time I was here, which was probably about a year ago, I was sitting in the seance room and we got an EVP come through. We had an EVP come through and it says, hey cowboy, and it sounded just like her speaking. So could Miss Evelyn still be here with us? She loved this place, so I think it's a possibility. So now you've added on another layer to the hauntings here at the Thomas House Hotel. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this investigation. Deep in the heart of Tennessee, history, mystery, and resilience meld together at the iconic Thomas House Hotel. Since its construction in 1890, this grand edifice has stood as a symbol of a bygone era, a time when Mineral Spring Resorts offered rejuvenation and represented the pinnacle of leisure and wellness. Now many people believe by taking in these waters and bathing in these mineral waters that they could actually cure many medical conditions. Some of those listed are respiratory illnesses, nervous system disorders, gout, female complaints, digestive disorders, rheumatism and arthritis, and even skin conditions such as eczema, acne, or psoriasis. Red Boiling Springs, known for its healing mineral waters, was a magnet for those seeking wellness and serenity in the late 19th and early 20th century. Thomas House Hotel was at the heart of this trend, welcoming guests from all walks of life. Despite two significant fires in 1924 and 1941, the Thomas House refused to be erased from history. Instead, it emerged stronger and more resilient, echoing the indomitable spirit of Tennessee itself. Now, Red Boiling Springs saw a drastic decline after the introduction of the interstate systems, as well as the scientific backing that the mineral waters weren't really providing the health benefits that people once thought they did. 
Today, the Thomas House Hotel invites those seeking a unique blend of relaxation, history, and perhaps a little thrill. Okay, so I'm about to strip naked and start dancing around in here doing necromancer rituals. So let's go ahead and start. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're going to actually start upstairs. And the reason we're starting upstairs is that's where Mr. Cloyd is most often heard whistling. We're going to hit the two hallways, come down to the seance room, and then we are going to finish inside of the real seance room that the cult used to practice in. Remember, this is the room they would dance around naked. This is the room that they did all their rituals. And this is the room that psychics have said is a portal. So we're saving this one for last. From my experience, we have had better activity in this room later into the night. So we're going to save this one for the last spot of the night. But let's go ahead and head up to the green hallway now. Okay, so we are in the green hallway. This is where everybody always hears the whistling. People have had balls move. And they've caught a shadow moving from left to right and right to left in this hallway. So, let's get it going. With that being said, I think we should get some motion sensing devices on both ends of the hallway. Yeah. And then just introduce ourselves. I know they know who we are, but it's been a minute. So, let's get the equipment out really quick. Okay. I'm going to leave this rolling here just in case something were to move. You've been here tons of times, but I think I've only been here twice. I think I've been here, I've been here probably close to 40 or 50 times. Because this is where I used to come all the time. Because this was your only place to, like, come investigate. And yeah, stuff. when I was, like, working a normal job. And had no equipment. And didn't have equipment. Yeah. I would, this is where I was coming. Yeah. Oh. This is where you were. This is where I was ghost hunting. <laughs> coming. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. So let's get that set. This box is a little finicky. So sometimes the music plays, sometimes it doesn't. It still works. And it's got fresh batteries. Fresh. Let's just re recalibrate one more time. I'm going to point it right at that door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure. So we got that set, and then let's put a flux down here. Okay. Um, we'll see if anything wants to draw us to any particular side. Yeah. But I thought having two motion sensing devices on either end would be a good start. That's a good idea. Somebody left a cat ball here, so. There you go. Yeah, you never know where the action's gonna happen. Cause it's not always the same every time. I'm gonna close this door really quick. We forgot to turn off this lamp. Oh, that's okay. You want to leave it on? Yeah, we can. Okay, so door is officially closed. And we're going to put the flux right up here. Shout out, ghost up. The flux. Okay, let that set. Okay, so for anyone at home doesn't know, either side of this will detect motion. So I say we start, like I start every video pretty mm -hmm. much with it, good DR60 session. Yeah. We love the DR60. It's my fave. Okay. So let's just introduce ourselves because there could be some new entities here that have never met me. And for the ones that do know me, maybe they'll come forward if we uh, say who we are. Say who we are. So here we go. Before I start this, my name's Kalani. I'm Savannah. This is my wife, Savannah. I've, I've talked with you many times before. And you were a big reason that I'm doing what I do today. So thank you for that. But if there's anyone here that would like to come forward and speak with us tonight, now is a good opportunity to do that. We're not here to disrespect you, harm you, bother you even. We just want to speak with you. So if you'd like to speak with us, now is a good time to do that. 
But I'm calling upon my friends that I've had here, Edwin or Mr. Cloyd. If you could whistle for us tonight, that would be great. But I'm going to leave this device out for you guys. And if there's anything you want to tell me since the last time I've been here, now is your time to do so. So we're going to leave that here. And now you can come forward and speak into this device. Flux just went off. Cutting EVP. What the heck? Thank you for that. If you want to walk towards my voice a little bit. Let's play this back while we watch. I thought I maybe There's heard something, something there, but I can't make it out. So maybe we can do, do uh, Sarah or Mr. Cloyd. Let's see if we can get them to whistle back. Can you whistle back to me? <gasps> oh, right, right when I whistled, the freaking music box started what playing. What the heck? No music, that's okay. Can you step away from that? Thank you. Right when I freaking whistled, the music box started playing. That is so cool. Thank what you. What the heck? Is this Mr. Cloyd? Mr. Cloyd, can you make that music play again? Okay, so it picked up about 13 seconds, and I only started recording after I whistled, so I didn't pick up my own whistle. Yeah. Nothing. Weird. Okay, if this is another person here at the hotel, if this isn't Mr. Cloyd, can you make that music box play on the count of three for me? Just so I know that you can hear my voice. One, two, three. No, nope. that was freaking weird. That was really Right weird. when I started whistling. Yeah. And what's cool is we had the flux go off on that end of the hallway and then the paranormal music box is going off on this end of the hallway. It's like something is so surrounding. It's either moving through the hallway or there's something on both ends of the hallway. Yeah, that's interesting. And notice you've got a mirror at the end of this hallway. This okay, true. so anyone that's here, I'm gonna put out another device for you that you can speak into and try and manipulate to come through. So again, folks at home, we're, we're testing the apps more in hopes that I can gain some confidence in them. Airplane mode is on, cellular network's off, Bluetooth's off, Wi-Fi is off. Frequencies. Frequencies is the first thing it says. So what I think I'm going to do is do that right there. Okay. 
Are you trying to use frequencies to communicate with us? I know you know how to use energy. You've done it for many people, including myself, before. But there's an entity that likes to hover between these two rooms. And I actually failed to mention this in my walkthrough, but there's so many different things that have happened here. There was actually a traveling salesman that died here. Preside? Anyway, so the traveling salesman died here. He was really young. I want to say he's in his 20s. It was so, there was so much snow and there was a blizzard essentially, like a huge snowstorm came in. They couldn't get his body to Nashville. So his body actually sat in the funeral parlor room for a, a period of time. Ooh. So his dead body sat in there, but they believe, they think he is the one that actually moves from room to room. Um, I can't think of his name right now. I'll try and put it in the history section as long as I remember. So I haven't made my history section. Sure. I promise I will. Sure. It said sure. Like, Come on sure. now. I'll make sure your name gets in there. But yes, the traveling salesman is who they believe to be the entity that moves from left to right. Interesting. Okay, for anyone up here that can hear my voice, whether it's one of the kids, Mr. Cloyd, doesn't matter. I'm going to ask you a few questions with this device right here, and I want you to come forward and speak to me if you can, okay? So here we go. Is that Beethoven? I don't know, is it? Kind of mood? Are you in a mood? You're don't be moody with me. You're Come on now. Tonight. Here we go. Can you tell me your name, please? Are you a member of the Cloyd family? Do you know Edwin? Canal? What is this? Canal? I don't know what that would mean. I might turn that off and do another burst. Let me turn this off real quick while we do that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna sit down just for a sec. Okay. See if that makes a difference. Okay. Three, two, one. Whoever's here with me, again, I don't mean you any harm. I just wanna talk with you. Can you tell me what year it is for you, please? Can you make a loud noise somewhere in the hallway? Are you one of the people that were killed here? Do you want to come through and tell us how old you are? What was that noise we both heard? I don't know. It was like up here. Yeah. And there's no one above us. Here we go.
Are you one of the people that were killed here? Do you want to come through and tell us how old you are? Nothing super clear. I mean, it sounds like there's something there, but nothing... Can't make it out, though. Nothing ridiculously clear. Yeah. If, do you want us to turn off this light? Maybe you don't like this light. If you want me to turn off this light, can you set off one of the devices we have at either end of the hallway? Or maybe Sarah? Sarah, I know you like to play games. We can play games if you'd like. Maybe let's go in the, the funeral part of the room. Okay. And uh, see if we can talk to anything in there. I'm gonna grab the rim pod really quick. It's cool though that we had both ends go off. I think that's that's really cool. Really right at the start. start yeah, yeah, really good start. You never know how long it takes him to like warm up to you or you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All right. We're currently in the funeral parlor room. His name is Josiah. Josiah. <gasps> oh. Right when I said his name. Dang it, I didn't catch it. That was just going off. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave my infrared out here. Oh, it went off again. Oh, it's still going off. Oh, I got chills. Okay. I'm gonna leave the infrared out here. Uh-huh. So if that starts going off. We'll get it? We'll get it, yeah. Cause I heard it go off right when I said his freaking name. That's cool, because you remember probably. Okay. Ooh, that gave me chills. That was cool. All right, Josiah, the traveling salesman. Josiah, can you come to this device and say hello? Do you remember me, Josiah? Air just cut on. Yeah. But I do want to take note, nothing has blipped off since the air turned on, so that's good. Yeah. Wait. I thought it said yes, hello. Let me slow it down. Play it again. Normal speed. Sound at the beginning like yes I can. Yeah, hang on. Let's uh let's grab the yes no. I, I didn't have this device last time I was here. But Oh the um, epic. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out. Oh oh Josiah, if that's you, can you stop? Oh, no way! He freaking stopped! That is so cool. And now he's back! All right, Josiah, count of three. I need you to stop playing really quick. I know you're excited, I'm excited too. It's been so long since I've seen you. 
I'm sorry I haven't been back. I hope you forgive me. But I need you to play it on the count of three. One, no, come on. I know you can do it. I know you can hear me. Just step away from it for a minute. One, two, <laughs> step away. Just come step away. On. Come on. I gotta ask you a question. Count of three. One, two, three. Now play. All right, cool. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta be shitting me. Is this funny for you? Of course, of course. Can, can you do it once? I know you can do it. You are like one of the most intelligent entities I've ever spoke with. Come on, Josiah. Just step away really quick. Just step away from it. Please. Thank you. Count of three. One, two, three. Step in front of it now. <sighs> Look, I know it's funny to watch me lose my mind, but please don't make me do it tonight. Just the count of three, just so I know that you can hear me. No, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Thanks. Count of three with my fingers. One, two, three. Play the box. What was the that? flux went off? No way. This mother. <laughs> I literally asked for him to set that one off on the count of three. He says, nah, I'm going to set that one that off. That one off. And now. And now that one. Yo. I've missed you, bud. I've missed you. He's funny. He loves playing games. Do you remember Snake? Remember Coach Rotaro? So I took, one of my, I took one of my football coaches here. Uh, literally one of my first ever investigations. Did you bring him here when you went live though? No. If you're an OG, you would remember. Snake. Snake. I took him to a few places in the beginning. Do you want me to bring him back? Stop playing that. They want Rodero to come back. They want Rodero. He had, this was where he became a believer in the paranormal, was literally in that room right there. Was it really? Mm-hmm. He had, we had dowsing rods, which it wasn't just like, yes, no. It yeah. literally, you could be like, okay, spin the right one and then it would start spinning. Yeah. And then you could say stop and spin the left one and then spin both. He is like one of the most intelligent entities I've ever worked with or worked investigating, I guess. Yeah. Um, but we, I, this place is weird. And it's like, okay, I'm coming. You want us to go back in the room down there? Okay, you gotta do the one, two, three with this device for me before we do that, all right? Step away. Count of three. One. Please. We'll come back Pretty down please. there. please. We'll come in the room down there. Count of three. One, two, This is what I deal with. It's not funny. Count of three. One, two. <laughs> do you want us to come in the room? Will you do it if I go in the room? Okay. You know what? It would be really great if that played music. <laughs> Here, I can. Maybe this will fix it. I'm gonna recalibrate it. The fact that I counted the three and then that one went off. I know. Okay. All right. Can you play it on the count of three? One, two, three. That was closer. Yeah, it's playing. All right, can you make it play for two consecutive seconds? This battery's gonna die. Is it? Yep. Already? Yep. The battery's not even... 
We haven't even been filming that long. Well, this is the battery I've been using since we got here. For like the B-roll and all of that. Okay. Music has stopped again. Cool. All right. You want to switch the battery? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so I do want to, want to report something really quick. We're having like camera malfunctions with our main camera here. Yeah, it's not. So we don't know what's going on with it. We're going to keep recording with it in hopes that it doesn't mess up. But it literally keeps giving us an error and doesn't want to work. Don't know if it's paranormal or if it's the camera itself. But I did want to note it for the video. All right. How many days did your body sit in this room? Does any entity here know about the Ansarah cult? Can you make one of my devices go off, please? What? What does it say? It said probably not. Twin. Probably not. Twin? What do I what do I look like you or something? Is your name Samuel? 
Or did you have a twin named Samuel? Oh yeah, I guess he could have. Let me ask this really quick. We'll listen back to the other one. Did you have a twin named Samuel? Let's listen back to both of those. You think the people at home can hear the bugs outside? Maybe. <laughs> They're loud. All right, here we go. Okay. Is it saying Samuel? What is it's that? very muffled. Yeah. Oh, it does kind of sound like Samuel. Building. It didn't record my session before. Did it not? Okay, so that was that. Go we back. caught a voice in the beginning. Go back to the first. I'm going to slow it down. Oh, wait, that's the. Here we go. I wish I could tell what it's saying. That's for sure a voice. Me, please. Oh, it does kind of sound like that. Help me, Help me please. please. I think it's saying, Help, Help me, please. please. Turn that off really quick. How do I turn it on? Uh, just slide the power to the middle. Okay. Help me, please. All right, well, here we go. Let's ask. What do you need help with? Josiah, are you trapped in this building? Is there a non-human being that's holding everyone here? I've heard rumors that there's something called an elemental here, is that correct? One more playback. Okay. What do you need help with? Your fire, are you trapped in this building? Is there a non human being that's holding everyone here? I heard rumors that there's something called an elemental here. Is that correct? 
Nothing. The one before it was it was very clear human tone even. Notice how quiet it is now? Yeah. Like listen. Did you die here, Josiah? Yeah, that's a first It literally story. says help me please. Something yeah. here is asking for help. Huh. And I don't know what we can do to help them yet, but I'm hoping that we can have a little bit more clarity to that. We're gonna move over to the white hallway now, which is Sarah's hallway. We haven't heard any whistling yet tonight, so that's something that we're looking for. But something came through our recorder and literally asked for our help. We have a ball on the stairs because Sarah likes to mess around with balls. Play, play with toy like balls. toy balls. Toy balls. Jeez. <laughs> Hallways are so creepy to me. And then we're going to set up our laser grid here, which detects um, thermal readings. So hot and cold signatures will show up on this. Or it could be partially charged and not turn on. Cool. Nice. Okay, so it's charged enough for the laser grid portion. It's not charged enough for the uh, readout portion. Nice. We love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, we're gonna put the envoy here. So this detects EMF, temperature variance, and touch. But since the air is on, we're going to turn off EMF, or turn off uh, temperature, turn on EMF, and turn on touch. So that was me. That thing so. sounds so happy when you turn it on. No, the do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. And then, I want to put a mag light mm -hmm. in this room right here. I've had really good activity in this room before. Wait, is this the room that has the picture in it you don't like? That's that room. Oh. Actually, we'll put Spike in this room, which this detects EMF. And we'll put the mag light in here. Okay. Let's go check on our ball really quick. Okay. I'm gonna turn the spirit talker on. Did that just pop off down there? Did it? Oh, I can't tell. That that thing is really hard to hear. Okay, let's go see down here. We'll start out in the hallway. If it's kind of dead out here, we'll move directly into Sarah's room. All right, Sarah. We have a ball on the stairs that you can play with. We can play a game with you. But just to confirm, the ball is still there. We also have our infrared camera on it as well. So, if it moves, we've got eyes on it. Creepy on this hallway. Okay, do you want to speak to us? We've got devices out that you can interact with. You want to touch any of these devices? It'll let us know that you're here. But Sarah, you don't have to be afraid. My Wait. name's Kalani. I'm Savannah. We'd like to talk with you. I've been here many times before. You might not recognize me with my long hair, though. The man bun. Speaking of which, my head itches. Oh yeah, get in there. We have a ball on the stairwell, Sarah. 
If you would like to move that bowl, just push it down the stairs for us. But is there something trapping you guys here? Is there something keeping all of you guys here or are you choosing to stay here? If there's something trapping you here, can you make one of these devices go off? It's so quiet. It is very quiet over here, especially compared to the Wait, green hallway. What? This went off, but we didn't hear it. What does it say? The man scares me. That's funny. The man scares me, and you're asking, is there something that traps you here? Or is it talking about me? Oh, I guess, yeah. Are you think... saying that I scare you? You don't have to be afraid. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to communicate with you. I think I had the sound off. Oh. I don't mean to scare you. Are you talking about me? Let's grab the yes and no on the envelope. Move that over here. Okay. Okay. Are you saying it? Evelyn. Evelyn. No way. What? Miss Evelyn. Oh. Oh my god. What the heck? I have literal. Look at that. Oh That's my god. That's crazy. Miss Evelyn, is that you? Nay. Nah. Her name! That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. I miss you, Miss Evelyn. Do you remember me? What are the odds? I don't believe in this freaking thing, but what are the freaking odds? I mean, that is bizarre. Anytime someone you know yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm kind of like emotional. It's really cool. Miss Evelyn was, if, if you've ever been here, she was always talking to everybody and she always called me cowboy because of the hat. Miss Evelyn, are you still here with us? I don't know if you know how to say Eric. I don't know, an Eric. That's twice that you've been here that she's come through. Maybe or we should get the 60 really quick. I wasn't gonna do a DR60, but. Now you want to? The fact that we got Evelyn. What are the freaking odds? I know. Like you said, the apps, I mean, they're hard to believe in, but that is not a coincidence. That's pretty cool. Ball is still there, by the way. Oh my gosh. Look at this room. Look at it from this angle. Look how freaking creepy. Man, I'm like I'm like shook a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The fact that it said Evelyn and then name. Yeah. She died less than a year and a half ago, I think. And she loved this place, like that's just crazy. Ooh, that's weird. You get the goosebumps? Yeah. Do you want to sit so we, yeah. I'm going to sit right here just so we're not moving. Miss Evelyn, are you here with us right now? Elsewhere. Elsewhere. What? You gotta be here with us if you're over here messing with this. <laughs> Did you? Hey, Brother, are you killing us right now? 
Did you think you heard something with your ears a minute ago? I thought I heard something down there. Yeah, I thought I did too. Miss Evelyn, is there any way you can knock that ball down that's on the staircase? I don't know if you know how to use energy like that, nor do I know the rules of where you're at. But if you could knock that ball down, that would be great. What is that? What was that? Fox. Are you in the library? They just made a library. I just heard a squeaking sound. Do she had a... Do you hear the squeak? Uh -huh. You didn't just hear the squeak? Do we hear your walker? Miss Evelyn, I need you to try your hardest to come through and speak into this device right here. Can you tell me my name? Or your name? Do you like how much work Daryl has put back into the place? That's weird because Should they've done a ton of the landscaping. Well, I mean, but also too, if this is Miss Evelyn, wouldn't she have thought of this place to be like her, like a tranquil place? Well, yeah, but he's also added a ton of like beautiful landscaping. Yeah. So like, there's almost that tranquil aspect. Witness. Nothing's coming through on here. The, the, whenever I connected with her the last time I was here, it was down in the seance room. So yeah. I'm thinking whenever we go down there, maybe we'll put you under for Estes. See if you can talk to her. See if we can talk to her. Yeah. Man, it's quiet in this hallway. I just still can't believe her name came through. Like. That's pretty cool. That's one of the coolest things as an investigator I've had happen. And that's what's really tough about this is it's like... Like, we've never tried to investigate for your mom. Yeah. I've just got this weird thing that, like, family, I don't try and go in contact for some reason. I just, I don't feel right doing it. That's just, like, a personal thing. I just, now, if they were to come through on stuff, which we've had your mom come through on stuff. And your grandfather. And my grandfather come through. If they come through willingly, then that's but not seeking on them. But out. I'm not seeking them out. Yeah. I just feel like you get, it, it, it's crossing, like, personal with business is the best way to put it. Yeah. But like with Miss Evelyn, she, she came to you. She came to us. We weren't really calling out to her, and that's how it happened last time too. She said, "Hey, cowboy," on my other recorder, and uh, made herself known. But the fact that this freaking here, she's like letting you know she's here. You're talking about her, <laughs> Miss Evelyn. I miss seeing you when I come visit. I haven't been back in a while. I don't think I ever met her, did I? I don't remember. Do you remember what you used to call me? Or what I have on my head? Miss Evelyn, I, I got a big favor to ask. Again, I got a ball sitting at the top of the staircase. The spike just went off, I heard yeah, it. I heard it too. If you can make that ball fall, Miss Evelyn. Unfinished business. What? Do you have unfinished business? I wonder what that could be.
That's weird. Are you saying you have unfinished business, Miss Evelyn? What's your unfinished business? Is there anything I can help you with? Spike just went off again. Yeah, I heard it. Have memories. Oh my gosh. Maybe she just means like unfinished business, like she wasn't done. So what's weird is right before this goes off, the spike has gone off twice. Yeah. So you, you weren't ready to go. Brother. Did she have a brother? Is David her brother? I don't know. No, I think David's her son. Did she have a brother? Maybe she means unfinished business with her brother. The spike just went off again. I, now, I, if you would have asked me before, and I'll have to ask David. I'm pretty sure Evelyn was his mother. Because um, if it was, if if they were siblings, then that would make sense. But are you still here because David's here? I still cannot believe that we had her name come through. Yeah, that's really cool. Not many times as an investigator do I get frazzled, but that frazzled me because it's just so personal. Like, obviously, I know the history and I have connections with some of the entities here, but. but like a person that you. Somebody know. that I knew as a living person that is now coming through on equipment. It's just. Kind of like a mind F a little bit, you know? Miss Evelyn, can you answer some questions for me? Mabel. Mabel. I don't know who Mabel is. Is it easier for you to communicate with us in the seance room? Bill. We're getting a bunch of names. That's interesting. Are these other entities that are here? There's a Billy here, not a Bill, right? Maybe he goes by Bill. I would just call him Billy. Miss Evelyn, is Edwin here? Or Mr. Cloyd? Can you tell us how Edwin passed away? Spike just the went spike off. has gone off quite a bit down there. It's third time. Honestly, though, it's kind of quiet. Conjure. Conjure. Kind of weird. Do you mean the seance room? There's a Ouija board in there, and there's like offerings in there, and there's Charlie Charlie in there. Is that where we need to go to speak with you? Is the seance room? What is Charlie Charlie? It's like a thing with pencils. Oh. I used to freak out about Charlie Charlie, are you here? And then like Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it could mean with conjure, are you talking about the cult here that tried to conjure the dead? Oh, that could be possible too, yeah. Maybe Mabel and Bill were conjured here by the Ansara cult. Can you make a device go off if you want us to go down to the seance room? Or maybe knock that ball down towards the seance room? like 
so quiet that it's eerie almost. You just set something off. Oh. Okay, the spike just went. Okay, we're gonna go down to the seance room. It doesn't feel like there's Sarah up here. Like Sarah's, Playful. from just my familiar nature with the place, it feels a lot more light when she's around. It feels a lot less, it doesn't feel bad right now, but there definitely feels like a, a different energy up here. Yeah. Maybe that's Miss Evelyn, maybe that's one of these other spirits, but was something conjured here by that cult? And maybe that's her unfinished business as yeah. she's trying to either maybe help, help them people? Yeah. or get them out of here. So maybe what we should do is go down into the seance room and try and do an Estes session and see if Miss Evelyn or the other entities here can come through so we can get a better idea of what the hell's going on. Okay guys, so we are about to do Estes inside of what they call the seance room. Now as you can see, they've got a Ouija board, offerings here, you got liquor for the older spirits, little Charlie Charlie action. But we're gonna get Savannah set up for Estes and see who or what wants to come through. So we're gonna move the rim pod here. Look at that couch. Or paralyte here. We got a cat ball there. And looks like Savannah is ready to go. We're gonna turn on our K2 on top of the Ouija board. Okay. All right, I'm calling upon any of the spirits here to come forward and speak with us. And? What's the end? You? You want to end me? Did you just move? I, I sat down. Oh, that's what I felt. Okay. Is Miss Evelyn still here with us? There's also a Civil War soldier that's supposed to be in this room. Troy? Troy. Is the soldier's name Troy? Yes, you're right. Well, I've never gotten your name before. How are you doing, Troy? Troy, were you a Union or a Confederate man? Gather. Gather what? Were you Union or Confederate, Troy? Rough day. How many spirits are in the room with us right now? Brandon. Brandon. Who's My Bra name. Your name is Brandon? What year is it for you, Brandon? Also, I want to make a note. Listen to how loud the spirit box is. There's no way she can hear me. My spear box and headphones are incredibly Junior loud. Junior year. Junior year. Are you in high school? That's something to do a little mm -hmm. research on. Did you did you pass away your junior year? Moving up. I wonder if there was anybody in the area that died named Brandon their junior year of high school. Brandon, can you tell me how you passed away? No. You can't? 
Not what year are you? What year is it for you? For me, it's 2023. John? Another name. Can you guys physically see me or can you only hear me? And a follow up question is if you can hear Busy. me. If, you're, if you can hear me, is it in the room or are you listening to me through a radio? Busy. You're busy? Can you please, yes. Can you please just try and take a minute and talk with me? We help people. What do you help people with? Your first time? This is not my first time here. I've been here many times. Do you know who Miss Evelyn is? Closer. Closer to what? 2000. Wait. I thought I heard something outside. So are you around the year 2000? I really want to know if there's somebody that passed away around the year 2000. Ingredients. Ingredients for what? Like, we got the name Brandon. He said he was a junior in high school. Dinner. Eating. What are we cooking for dinner tonight? Soup. What kind of soup? For kids. Chicken noodle? Chicken noodle soup or what? Is there any way I can help you or any of the other people? Help me. Here? Oh my gosh. How can I help you? I want to help you. The man. The man. Wait, upstairs we got something that said the man scared me. Is the man, was he once human? Is there an air vent above me? Um, there's one behind me up here. Oh, I keep feeling like air on my arm from that, I'm assuming. Yeah. Surveillance. Hey, Savannah. The card's full. You gave me a heart attack. Okay, so infrared camera, you're going to have to uh, pick up for the rest of the night. No, it should be our saving grace. I got to delete some of these clips from the previous investigation. What, what other investigations on there? Uh, Old City Jail. Oh. Remember, that's why I asked if you cleared the card before him. Well, luckily we have that one running still. Were you getting anything? Yeah. It was good. Until it stopped recording. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't... I probably shouldn't turn this off. Yeah, I can turn it back on. Okay, so this card got full. Um, luckily we had the infrared camera running. So I apologize, you probably didn't have as good of audio, but luckily that camera was still rolling. You set that for me? Yeah, we'll get you set real quick. One day I'll learn how to do it myself. I doubt it. Today's not that day though. Thanks. I'm glad we had infrared rolling though, because we had some really good stuff come through, and I'm hoping we can still connect with whatever's here. Okay. 
Okay, I can't get it set. Okay, is Brandon still here with us? Or whoever said they needed help. Who is the man? Me? You're the man? Sawyer? Sawyer. Hello, Sawyer. Are you the one needing help or are you the one that is causing folks to need 19. help? You're 19? What are you doing here? Did you pass away here? Yeah. What year did, did you What year did you pass away? Do you know? I'm trying to be as still as possible. Can you tell me how you passed away? Do you know that? Opportunity. Opportunity for what? My work. Were you sent here for work? Can, can anyone find Edwin or Josiah or Sarah or Mr. Cloyd or someone from the Cloyd family to come through? Husband? Are you looking for your husband or are you a husband? Looking. You're looking for your husband, okay. That was really cool. That lined up. Is he supposed to be here? Or did he come here without you knowing? 20 years. Oh, he's been your husband for 20 years? Looking. Yeah. Or, or have you been looking for him? Okay, he's been your husband for 20 years. Is he supposed to be in this hotel right now? Or did he come to meet someone? Does anybody here know about the cult? that tried to summon spirits in the dining room. They went by the name Ansara. Good morning. Good morning. Who are we speaking with now? What's weird is this is the room that has the mineral spring underneath, and it seems like this is almost like a some sort of vortex or portal I don't know if it's due That's to... That's a good morning. Are you commenting the way I said good morning? We're not getting any equipment activity in here, but we are getting some decent responses on Estes. Words. It's, it seems like there's multiple entities coming through. It's not just one, and it doesn't necessarily mean that... Something's hearing me and responding, but I don't know how it works. It seems like there's a ton trying to speak at once. Smoke. Do you want to smoke? Yes. If there's one in the middle of the table, you can grab that if you'd like. Do you like cigarettes or cigars? Cigarettes or cigars? We're about to move into the dining room where those rituals were held. So we invite anything in this room to follow us to the dining room. And anything else that can hear my voice, you're allowed to follow us into the dining room. And we're going to try and communicate with you through a different device. Would that be okay with you? 
Might be. Oh! The boy. Okay. Is that where the boy is? Is that where Edwin is? Or a different boy? Yes. Edwin. Okay, so if we go to the dining room, Edwin can speak with us. All right, I say we go to the dining room. We're not getting much equipment activity in here. We are getting some good Estes responses, but it has gotten really quiet on Estes. 90. But there for a while, we had some really cool, intelligent responses back to my questions. So let's go ahead and pull Savannah out and then go set up for our portal session inside of the dining room where they danced naked and held rituals. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you know the next time that I post. Okay guys, so this is gonna be our final session of the night inside of the room where the Ansarok Five Spirits. It says Five Spirits. So this is where the Ansarok cult tried to do their rituals and summon and talk to the dead. They were a necromancer cult. We have a laser grid shooting at the corner at one of the supposed portals. And then I'm actually gonna be using my FLIR camera uh -huh. to see if we can catch anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the FLIR now. We'll actually put this here. Are you gonna add that footage in to, if we get Yeah, done? I'll make sure it's right this time. Okay, we have our portal running real quick. I'm gonna switch this to the end. Anybody here that would like to communicate with us? We've heard that there's portals in this room. They don't mean you any harm. Can you come forward and say hello? We're looking for someone from the Ansarah cult. Do you know anyone from the Ansarok cult? Did that say? Instrument? Yeah, you can use these instruments to communicate with us. Is there anybody in here that would like to show themselves? Or speak through this device? Are there portals in this room? We got like a weird tingly feeling, I don't know about you. Yeah, this room definitely feels different than all the other rooms. I heard they danced naked in here and there's symbols under the floor here. Were you summoned here by Ansarah? There's only one way for you to properly connect with them. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I would do it. Don't tempt me with a good time now. I heard they dance naked in here. What is this cold spot showing up? Over here. What is it? It could be your cooler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know this thing's working. Look at that. Our Mickey Mouse cooler. Mickey Mouse. It does have Mickey Mouse on Look, it, down there. That's what it is. You can see the cold coming out of it. That's funny. Well, at least we figured that out. And that's my drink. Gotta stay hydrated. With energy drink. Can you show us what you look like in this camera I'm holding? That's it? Embriddle? 
I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. You're a little bit above my pay grade with that. Can you try and speak clearly through this device? I don't think you're very strong. You know, last time when you said it three times, the chair flew. And Sarah, and Sarah, and Sarah, and Sarah, and Sarah. I want somebody from that cult to come through. Tell us why you scam families. Denise? Is your name Denise? I wonder whatever's in this room to show itself. Camera, yeah, look, come to the camera. Show me what you look like. What did that just say? I don't know, I heard a voice though. Try and speak clearer through this. You're not talking to us very loudly. You want us to turn off the light? Did you touch that red can on the table right there? Did it say what? It looks like a heat signature around this. It looks weird. Where is the Ansarah cult at? I'm gonna turn that off for a second. Yeah, we're not really getting much on that. <laughs> Did that just say? Power on. Memory. Memory. What is it? Shy. Oh, wait, it says shy and memory. Oh, maybe they're shy. Are they you shy? We turned off that loud box. Maybe you want to talk to us now. Can't be too shy if you're dancing around naked. Yeah, I mean, you can't be too shy if you're showing the goodies out here. Yeah, shaking the goodies. Or were you conjured by them? Were you conjured by this cult? Could be one of the kids too. Not everything in here is cult related. Yeah, that's true. Maybe uh, put the DR60 out. Turn that off for a second while we get the 60. 10 spirits is what it says. So it was at five, now it's at 10. Okay, I'm gonna put this silver device out. If you can see me, I'm in towards the door. That's the coffee pot. It's not somebody back there. <laughs> okay. So just come to this device and say whatever you want. Three, two, one. Is there anybody here with us that would like to say hello? Can you tell us your name? Edwin, are you here? Spike just went off. It's the first time it's gone off since we've been here. Yeah. After I mentioned Edwin. Wait, since we've been in this room, you mean? Yeah. Yeah.
Is that? Is that the coffee pot? I think it's the coffee pot. Can something come through one of these portals in the room? What is that? That's got to be the coffee pot, right? Coffee pot? <laughs> Chester copper pot? <laughs> Pretty loud coffee pot, but I guess so. It's possessed. It's possessed! <laughs> Nobody drinks coffee. It's super quiet. It is very quiet. Let's turn this back on, I guess. Wait, oh. spike this one off? Yep. Can you show your hand on this table? Can you just touch the table for us? Not seeing any, any anything weird in the thermal. Really? Mm -mm. What does a person's body look like in that? Pretty crazy. Certainly. Can you see a person's body? Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. I like that. Interesting. It's very I'm quiet. Much. It like popped off at the beginning. Well, even into the second session. But it seems like three and four, it's kind of... It's dwindled down a little bit. Down. We don't have much longer to speak with you. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I'm going to turn thermal off. That popped again just a minute ago. Okay, let's do uh, another 60, I think. Here we go. Okay. Can someone say trick or treat? Are you out of energy? Wait, the laser grid just flashed blue. It's picking up a cold signature. That's me. Look at that. That's cool. I don't really know if they can see. Oh, hang on. Let's be at your bunker really quick. What is it? I don't know what that just said, but this is the only thing I'm not liking about that. There's an air vent right above our calibration signal. Is it blowing air? It's not right now, but it could have been. Dang. So I didn't even notice that when I set it up. As much as I'd like to think that that's paranormal. Yeah. I would rather Say it's the air vent. Play on the safe side. Let's shoot this way. It's not an air vent over there. Dang it. Dang it. I thought we had something. Whatever. We moved quickly and everything. <laughs> Let's see what this said. It said a few things. Proceed. Probably not stool, but stool like poop. Proceed. <laughs> Stool like poop. Okay, let's listen back real quick. Okay, here we go. Can someone say trick or treat? Are you out of energy? Ask the banana question. <laughs> Move north. Hang on, let me. It's that way. I don't know. I don't have my compass on me. Do you typically carry a compass? Where do you keep it? Ouch. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Can you say the word 
banana. It's dead. Pun intended. -E it's, it's literally dead in here. Dead. And Syrah. <laughs> and Syrah. The only thing is you're not naked though. You gotta strip down. I would. If YouTube allowed it, I would be naked right now. That's a little concerning, Kwani. Anything for activity. I feel like I don't want to know that. <laughs> Says demonic presence. <laughs> Are you feeling it? I'm feeling Demons. it. Demons. Huh. What if there is? What if that is the non-human thing here? Don't, I don't think so. Don't even. It says demonic presence. All right, let's just ask for kicks and giggles. Is there a demon here? are you making? I don't know. <laughs> Is there a demon here? What is that? Is there a demon here? What is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, let's just see. No, I don't want to see. Are you actually a demon? That's a dirt. 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 Yo, dirt. <laughs> Are you actually a demon? No. Okay. It's it's dead in here, and I'm not really feeling much. Maybe if I could dance naked, we'd get something. Unfortunately, though. YouTube community guidelines, well, uh, and this so. is just a little too much for your screen to handle. You're all missing out on a treat. So let me tell you something. I really did enjoy. The first two sessions here, super active, tons of intelligent activity. The fact that we think Miss Evelyn came through was really cool. Um, the Estes was, some things matched up. The camera has been acting funky all night. Um, overall, pretty solid night. I yeah. mean, we had a lot of activity. A few of the different pieces of equipment went off during the night. Caught some Class B, Class C EVPs, nothing Class A. But I would say it's pretty productive. We didn't really get anywhere on how we could help whatever's here. And we, I don't think we had that non-human entity come through tonight. But overall, it was fun. You don't think we had the what? The non-human entity. Oh, non-human entity. I couldn't make out what you said. Um, but yeah, guys. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Make sure you go ahead and comment Thomas House rocks for this week's comment. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button with the bell notifications on. We'll be posting again next Sunday. Uh, we're back on a regular posting schedule of Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard or Eastern Daylight Time, whatever they call it now. Love you guys. Wait, get some merch. Oh, yeah. This is one of my new pieces of merch. Sit Link around. in description. Sit around, sit around. Ah, nice. You can't see what I'm wearing, but I've got the grave. Well, I'm Kalani. Gravestone. And this is... We got this, and then the back is... Nice little tuna thing. So. And, and I'm Sav. 
And we had a great night here at the Thomas House Hotel. We'll see you guys next week.